Thank you very much, Martha Mears. You know, it's all too seldom that I'm afforded an opportunity to rub elbows with the musical upper set. But I'm happy to report that such an occasion presents itself here and now. Your next contributor to mail call is probably the greatest tenor around these parts or anywhere else. Many of you have heard him rip around lay at the Met, and if you haven't, here he is now, giving the once over to Eluci van Lestelli from Tosca. Loritz Belchior. That was really a solid uh, multi cadenza there. Huh? Uh, thank you, Bing. I will be listening carefully when you sing later. Mm, yeah. Mm, well, Lawrence. And now, mail call turns to. Uh... Open that door, white guy. 
Listen, madam, you cannot come in without a ticket. Who can't come in? Stand back or I'll break the door down. Now, madam, please, please. Oh. <laughs> well, here I am. Oh, me aching back. <laughs> <laughs> well, Cass Davy, look at that. Singer, I want to audition for the Mets. Yeah, wait a minute, wait, 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 you mean Lawrence Belchior? Yes, right, who? You see, I want to get into the Metropolitan, and that boy is my boy, baby. You mean you want to be a prima donna? Sure enough. What are them fat dames got that I can't have inflated? <laughs> <laughs> what are you charging for, gal? What's all the rush here? What's, what's all the sudden interest in an operatic career? Well, you see, being my teacher says now's the time. My voice is ripe. Ripe? Yes, sir. And if I wait any longer, it'll get squashy. <laughs> I don't know, Cass. You think you're suited for opera? Sopranos must have very powerful voices. Powerful? Yeah. Uh, listen, Jack, I sing that trolley song so loud the passengers ask for transfers. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't worry about me, Bob. I've been in lots of operas. Like what? What do you Well, doing? like Carmen, for instance. Boy, I'll never forget that Toreador scene. What a sensation! Your voice? No, I backed into the bull's horns. <laughs> <laughs> What happened? What happened there? Well, it was the first time in history a soprano ever finished her solo from the second balcony. <laughs> oh, we got to face it, Cass. We must face facts. You're not built to be a prima donna. You're too skinny. Well, in that case, why haven't you tried it, Lumpy? Lumpy? <laughs> Just a minute, Cass. I may have a few extra pounds, but that's what gives my voice its... It's uh, for Sando. That's uh, <clears throat> I see. That's how I get my pear-shaped tones. <laughs> yeah, but it looks funny. Pear-shaped tones from an avocado. Mm -hmm. Let's face it. <laughs> you may jest if you like, and you only do mildly, may I say. But that added weight is quite necessary. After all, when you're singing, you have to reach all the people in the theater. With your stomach. <laughs> Well, anyway, if that's your only objection to my opera career, Bing, uh, it's all taken care of. My last performance, I stuffed some great big poems out of my costume. That's quite an idea. How'd it work out? <laughs> great until the third act. What happened? Well, the pillow broke and I snowed on the orchestra for ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> but, Bingo, this is getting us nowhere. Oh. I came here to sing opera and I'm gone. To... I was afraid of that. Yes, sir. Now, stand back. This, uh... May stunt your growth. What a couple of me and a couple of me. good and sorry. Just a boy of the noise. You come out of time. There. Don't you think I'm ready, Bing? For opera, no. But for hawking halibut, could be. 